It's recording. What's up, y'all? Back with another Suburban vid. This time, we're gonna address the back. I've been trying to get to the whole truck. Just takes a little while. So, there's these D-pillar covers. You got your A-pillar by the windshield, your B-pillar by the back of the front door, your C-pillar about the back of the back door, then your D-pillar all the way in the rear. It's all the different pillars that hold the roof up. So in a Suburban, you got these uh, plasticky, just like, just, I don't know, kind of ugly <laughs> rear D-pillar covers. But on the Escalades and all, they had these really nice ones. Just a single vent, smooth, they look a whole lot better than these, I believe. See, what kills me is I thought black Escalades were like the most popular color. But when I was looking for these, I couldn't find a set of black Escalade D-pillar covers anywhere. So I ended up buying some pearl white ones. I guess I'm gonna have to paint them. It's a good thing black's easy to color match. So I'm gonna go ahead and I got some 220 plastic. So there's no really reason to use a power sand or nothing. It's not dented, no paint's flaking off. And uh, just hit it with a little 220 just to rough it up a little bit to give the paint something to stick to. It means I'm gonna end up painting the truck satin black. I'll start with these satin black first. It's already better than what's on the thing. Faded black. So I'm pretty much just gonna knock the gloss off is all I'm doing. It's not a piece that gets a lot of abuse on the vehicle. So I'm just gonna kind of just go in here. Little circles. Getting the cracks or any wax might build up might be. And I'm just trying to give some grooves for the new paint to sit into. The paint I used for Rust-Oleum Paint Primer 1, it's thick. So you won't see any of these grooves at all, even with 220 grit paper. What you don't want to do when you're sanding is like all the hard creases, you don't want to sand over those. You want to leave that nice crisp line. So just avoid that, maybe just, just hit it a little bit. But you want to get your flats sanded nice and good. You see this part too, whenever the hatch gets opened. So I'm gonna paint in here also. So that's all the parts you'll see in here, through here, inside this little vent, and this back piece of this cover here. That's really all you have to paint. I mean, the factory didn't even get up inside of this either, so I don't have to. But that's one down, a couple minutes. Live in Southeast Louisiana, like I've mentioned a couple times before. It's January 6th, 68 degrees, but 43% humidity, perfect paint and weather. I bought these covers probably six months ago off of eBay for hundred bucks. So I haven't had a chance to start on the back of the Suburban. I had cruising the coast come up and I had a bunch of stuff to get ready for. But um, we're gonna ditch the chrome bumper and put some better looking D-pillar covers on it. And uh, in the spring, a couple months from now, I'll debadge the whole truck and we'll go ahead and spray it satin black. It's not a whole lot of body work that goes in there sanding plastic panels. Just don't sand through what's there or else you'll start seeing the scuff marks in the plastic itself. I believe if I had to use a hand sander, like an electric sander, I'd go through this so quick I couldn't control it. But a little hand sanding don't hurt nobody. When you're looking to fine tune, your hand's your best instrument. All right, we've got them wiped down. Satin. Paint primer in one. All right, so everything's been prepped and I'm um, we'll gonna go ahead and hit the spot that no one ever sees first, the bottom. And then uh, catch the inside before I can't handle the outside anymore. It leaves a nice wide fan spray. Put a little dust coat on it first. And then uh, 
while that's tacking up, hit them outside. That's it. Can't touch them no more after this. It helps that the stain on this can actually sprays like a spray gun. But it's just satin. So we'll give that uh, five minutes to kind of flash. We'll get back with a heavy top cake. All right, I reset up, chasing the sun over here. Um, everything's tacked, nice and smooth. Now I can lay this on pretty thick and it's come out a nice satin finish. Check this out. Could have done gloss black, huh? See that little spot right here. Perfect, no runs. Just need to let it satin up. See, you touch this first before you can put fingerprints on what you just painted. No, man, things come out good. Ooh, ho, ho, look at that. Nah, sight and black, damn things are fine. That's exactly what I was looking for. Yep, that's the finish right there. Let the sun do its thing. I'm gonna let them sit up a whole day and I'm gonna put them on tomorrow. All right, so while these are over here satining, I'll come over here and start taking off the uh, B pillar covers. Man, good riddance to these things. Why? Okay, open my lid here. And it looks like uh, GM's famous seven millimeter. Nice round number. So I've got my uh, seven. It looks just like this one bolt. All right, this kind of cuts around the strut. So this isn't in the way. And this, let's just give it a little wiggle here. Some of that. All right, look. So I went and uh, popped this out the way. And then you got your seven millimeter up here and there's a clip on the bottom side. Pop it out with your little screwdriver. And then uh, the sides just kind of come out also. There you go. Deep pillar cover off. The uh, <laughs> those little flapper dudes when you shut the door, that's the pressure out of the cab. You got your one screw up here. And then these kind of just fit behind your window. 
there's really no even reason to try here. I'd never take these up before, but I know. Command it tough. Look at that, look. All food. Can't stand it. So, uh, here's where your other clip went in. Right here. You just that's what stuck the screwdriver up and fried it out with. I'm gonna clean this up real quick and then pop on the Escalade decoil cover and give you a left to right comparison. Excuse me while I clean this up. Oh, power, power. Got some power, power. Makes everything just wipe right off. I love that stuff. This isn't necessary, but if it's out, why put it back funky? I'm not at Sarah in tune cleanliness levels yet. but I will wipe it down. All right, so I got my satin Cadillac single flute. This thing to look amazing. And uh, just pop them on. Carefully. So put this by the window first. Yeah. Put this dude in there first like this. That aligns it all. And yeah, pretty straight. Yeah. Now just to uh, snap it. And then there's this one right here. There's this one up in there. I don't know if you can see it. There's a clip right here. And there's your bolt hole right here. <laughs> I love this thing. I never thought I'd like a Suburban like I like this. So. There is the Escalade deep filler cover. Man, like. What? It's like, it's got a screw up on the back of my truck. When you come around this side, it's all sleek and tucked in. Let's see, he closes it real quick. I mean, come on. Somebody just couldn't stop designing the back of this thing. It's all the little subtle things that you do to bring the whole thing together. Man, is that way better. This thing is bad, just they don't go with nothing. It's like the whole truck's all smooth. What's up with that? This fits a whole lot better over here. Oh yeah, it just rounds the whole cap off nice. Alright, rinse repeat. Let's do the other side. Got a clip right in this little channel that goes behind the uh, shock here. It's just a pop together car. Kind of just pry a little bit, just a little bit. As you come, we get the screwdriver like right here. 
once you, once one of them pops, the rest of them just come off. Make sure you clips on. And uh, yeah, these were pearl white. Now they are sateen. I'm gonna sleep way better tonight knowing that the back of my underside of D pillar covers is cleaner than it was when I went to sleep, or than yesterday. All right, so we're gonna take this, kind of slide it up behind here, and then line this up. Once these get put in, everything else kind of falls into place. There we go. I let these dry for a day. I did them yesterday, I put them on today. When this screw hole up here lines up, you know you're good. Yep, that's clicked in. Pretty easy. Come on, seven millimeter. Yeah. Look at that. Awesome. Love it. Let's see. Oh yeah. Nice and smooth. Make the rest of the truck look dirty now. So this is a 05 Suburban 8.1 2500. And those are off of a Cadillac Escalade. 9907 also same truck man does that look better it's dirty man it's been raining i ain't had a chance to wash nothing but i will now that's what's up a little deep pillow cover video it just it just flows better. It flows with the whole vehicle. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. All right. One more step down in the Suburban. Appreciate y'all watching this little one. It wasn't a huge deal, but it makes a big difference. Modified. Thank y'all for checking it out. Catch you next week. Appreciate it. I'm out.